So do you have the uh, little nave data out of date in your FMC? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, covering how to update your AROX cycle specifically for for the flight factors 767, 757, and also 777. Let me just quit explain here. So, one of the first steps that you're going to have to take is to go to explain 11, your explain folder. You're going to have to go to custom data. Now I'm just going to delete this previous one for now, just for the, so we can properly do the tutorial. All you have to do is click new. Here you're going to have to go to folder, type in GNS430, enter, that's all you have to do. Close that, you're done. Now you have to download the Navigraph FMS data manager. This is an app made by Navigraph which offers charts and ARAC cycles to the uh, flight sim world. This is a subscription based service and is of course a good option to get uh, if you're in flight sim so that you can keep up with the latest ARAC cycle. If you just go to add on pings, I'll just delete this one for now. So this is what probably your and it crashed, of course, because it does that. I don't know why. Just have to reload it sometimes. I don't know why it does that. A little glitchy, anyways. Uh, so, yours will probably look like this. It will probably go through a scan before you even start the app to see if you have any uh, planes, sims that it will detect. It may detect the GNS430 if you have created that folder. To do a scan, you just go to the add on that pings page. Then you click scan, and it may detect that GNS430, or it may not. So, Anyways, which it, it didn't for me. So what you actually have to do is you're going to click add here and you're going to have to add it manually. The GNS430 should be the second one from the bottom. Of course, if you actually made the folder, you just click that and it, it won't show up if you haven't created that folder. Now you're going to click install info after you've selected it. You just click X plane 11 or X plane 10. This works for both, of course. And you just click that, and it shows up here. Now you're just going to go back to the add on list. It may crash, which probably will, I think. Uh, there it goes. But just restarting the app won't hurt. Just go back. And that X.11 GNS430 should be there. It works with, I guess, a few different planes that use the same format for their FMCs. But all you have to do is click this little download button. It's going to download the cycle. It's going to install it itself. And after this circle has done, uh, is finished, that's basically all you have to do. Your AROC cycle should be updated. And of course, you can update other things in this program, such as x 11s and Toolkit Pro, etc. Any other add-on aircraft that you can that you have, this will most likely work. Of course, they may have their own clients, and you have to manually do it, do it if it's an older aircraft. But it, it differs with the aircraft or the flight sim, of course. So this is almost done downloading. 92%, 93%. There we go, it's done. So now it says that it's on 2007, which is that it's done now. So thank you very much for watching. This is one of my f first kind of videos in quite a while now on the channel. Make sure to uh, like and hopefully subscribe so that I can grow this channel and of course make more videos for the flight sim community, tutorials, and also 
full flight videos. Anyways, that's it for all for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.